Breaking news. Boom attack on Kaduna train. The earth shook. Rains of bullets followed. A survivor gives full narrative. This is the same train we saw Buhari's wife boarded to make Nigerians feel that um, it was safe. We brought you up to speed on that news where she told Nigerians that they can go on the train. She herself has gone on the same train. My dear, if you are in Kaduna, Abuja, as I, said, I know it's faster. Trains are supposed to be faster. No traffic um, following the rail and quickly you are there. But as it stands, these same bandits have gone to an international airport in the same Kaduna and we saw what they did. Prevented uh, a plane from taking off. They even killed one of the staffs there. Well, they've taken it to the rails and um, please be careful. Don't go and join um, anything, just anything and, you know, think that um, it's all, a, you know, a fair play. Be very careful because what is happening now and what is going on shows us that Nigerian government, they are not particular about what is happening to the people and all they are moving and following and all they are doing is, you know, how do we get more money borrowed? And after borrowing the money, they will go on, you know, get more money borrowed and uh, share. That's what they do best. Okay, that's just their disposition. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. Let's get all the details. A survivor of the Monday night bomb attack on the Abuja Ibadan route train has described his experience saying when explosive went, the earth shook after which the terrorists began to rain bullets on them. Meanwhile, relevant authorities were relaxing with the Nigerian Railway Corporation, NRC, to ascertain the list of passengers' manifesto for effect tracking because many people are currently missing. The managing director, CEO of the Nigerian Railway Corporation, Mr. Ferdinand Oko, Okohero, has earlier confirmed the attack but did not give details. A passenger who survived the attack told journalists on phone that while they were on transit, we heard a loud bang. The bomb exploded. He recalled that the earth shook and within the twinkle of an eye, it was gone short everywhere, being rendered on them. According to him, the passengers and the train, who were about a thousand, fell on each other when the train derailed. The terrorists surrounded the coach and shot sporadically. Many were wounded. Some were hit by the bullet as the terrorists closed in, trying to inf infiltrate the coaches. As the, conf as the confusion heightened, many ran into the bush on both sides of the track, which was by the will of God that I survived, he said. Meanwhile, the Kaduna state government said on Tuesday that the evacuation of passengers on the trapped Kaduna bond train from Abuja has been has continued this morning. The security forces, officials of Kaduna State Emergency Management Agency and Nigerian Red Cross are on it. Samuel Aruo, the Commissioner Minister of Interior Security and Home Affairs, Kaduna State, issued a statement explaining that passengers who sustained injuries and, on, and those who are fatally injured has been moved to the hospital. According to him, passengers were evacuated from different hands had to reach areas in forests and rocky locations on the Abuja Kaduna Railway. As stated yesterday, the Kaduna state government is still listing, liaising with the Nigerian Railway Corporation to ascertain the list of passengers' manifesto so that they can know the number of people who have been seen, those who have been shot, those who are in the hospital, and can ascertain the number of victims who lost their life in the process. So, the, the road is not safe. The trains are not safe. Where exactly is safe in Nigeria? We're exactly safe in Nigeria. The rails are not safe. The trains are not safe. Where exactly is safe in Nigeria? Is the question we must continue to ask ourselves. Where exactly is safe? Where exactly in this country is safe? Okay? Where exactly is safe? Everybody, we're all keeping quiet and allowing this government 
to continue on their perpetration and on their track of wickedness that have allowed this nation to be derailed in no small way. People have died. I mean, people, passengers on the, on the, on the train were falling on each other, you know, and nobody ever saw this coming. Nobody ever saw this coming. Nobody ever saw this coming, you know. Nigeria is not safe. I'm sorry to say, but it's the truth. Nigeria is not safe at all. The country is not safe. It's not a safe place at all, at all, at all. It's not safe. Okay? Nigeria is not safe. People, 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 people are just, I mean, it's by the grace of God we are living in this country. It's just by the grace of God. People are living. It's just by the grace of God. Okay? So please, let's continue to, you know, pray for those who have run into the bushes and what have you. And are, you know, uh, and are just, you know, looking and seeing how they can get home safely to their families. Let's continue to pray for them and hope that, you know, everyone is fine. To a large extent, this is not a country. This is just a survivor of the fittest regime. That's where we are. We have no leaders at all who are bringing direction, leadership into this country. We've got no such. We're just, we're just uh, taking each day as it comes. We're just going about taking each day as it comes. None of them are really particular about this nation. For as a matter of fact, none of them, their children are even schooling in the school. Now, they are trying to say they are doing rails, and even the rails, they can't even sustain. They can't even, you know, coordinate the trains and the rails. And so. And if you know how much they've borrowed, if you know how much has been borrowed over this train, you'll be scared for what is going on in Nigeria. You'll be thoroughly worried. You'll be seriously worried. So what do we do with all these things going on? What do we do? How are we going to, you know, avert all these things going on? What do we do? What do we do? We are really in a state of dilemma here. People can't even, you can't go on the road, you can't go on the, even in the air now. Eh? In Kaduna, you can't go through Kaduna International Airport. You have to be careful. We saw what the bandits did a few days ago. You have to be very careful. Yet, Buhari will not send Nigerian army to, to get, and, you know, get rid of these people. It's, 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 it's a very shameful occurrence and uh, it's terrible what is going on right now in this country because there is no there is no orderliness. We've got no decorum whatsoever. There is no orderliness whatsoever in this country. Everybody's just doing everything however we, you know, they're just, you know, uh, doing everything anyhow. Leave us a comment. We'd love to hear from you. God bless you. Have a lovely day. Bye for now.